All right. Well, you know the name, the northern snakehead. The invasive species is once again rearing its ugly head here in Maryland. Yes, and for the first time in years, biologists are seeing a lot more of them now in Maryland waterways. Rachel Manitoff is joining us now to explain what the public can do to stop this potentially harmful fish. Hey, Rachel. Hey. So in the last two years, only one snakehead has been found in the Chesapeake Bay. But just this past spring, biologists counted dozens of them. And they're warning... The species could be expanding. The northern snakehead was first spotted in Maryland waters in 2002, and ever since then, they've spread to every major river of the Chesapeake Bay. We believe that it was probably a pet fish that somebody decided to let go into a local water area. And from there, it just succeeded and survived. The Department of Natural Resources says that these fish, which are indigenous to Asia, produce and spread quickly, and they have no natural predators. They can actually survive on land for some time, and that's probably how they move from one location to the next. And we're still trying to determine what, at the end of the day, they can do to a, an ecosystem, because we haven't seen them before, and we don't know exactly what the long-term impact is going to be. The DNR says what we do know is that the fish are popping up in places we've never seen them before. In the last few months, 81 snakeheads were caught in the Cunnawingo Dam's fish lift. That's a dramatic increase after only one was found in the last two years. And Maryland is actively trying to stop them from migrating north. So when fishermen come across a snakehead, they're advised not to release it back into the water. We don't want them to take it from one body of water to a next body of water. Anglers are also asked to report any snakeheads caught in Maryland to the Department of Natural Resources. All of that information is on our website, wjz.com.